The invasion of the Senate by some unidentified men is eliciting reactions from federal lawmakers in the Senate and House of Representatives. They want to go towards the main... A federal lawmaker, Senator Adeola Olamilekon, had a brush with the man who snatched the mace chamber. He recounts that he mistakenly entered into the vehicle used to convey the thugs out of the National I Assembly. That. I just noticed there was a pandemonium. Everybody was running. The next thing I had was, yeah, distinguish, you have to enter your car, you have to enter your car, you have to enter your car, you have to enter your car. Ah, I was looking for my car, my car, but the car that appeared before me is exactly like my car. So I quickly rushed into the car. But what I noticed was that the Two people carrying the maze of the Senate entered the same car with me. It was then I started looking at, ah, this is not my car. Who are you? What is happening? But before I could say that, they were already driving away. They were on top speed. There was a car was, that a car was coming, and there's a narrow space that there is need for. The, I just quickly opened, opened the door, and I was just trapped of the car. I just jumped out of the car. Senator Lamileko, however, says the invasion is completely unacceptable. These are people who want to truncate the democratic process. Because yesterday we called for the removal of service chiefs. And today there are talks in the National Assembly, in the Senate, the highest lawmaking body in the land, and cut away with the maze. Are we in a lawless country? Other lawmakers also condemn the entry and forceful removal of the maze from the Senate chamber. Yeah, it's not something that we should expect to happen in the National Assembly of Nigeria. It's uh, an attack and an assault on the integrity as well as dem democratic principles of Nigeria. Whether we like it or not, what happened should agitate our various minds because it's unbecoming becoming of a democratic setting like the National Assembly. In the meantime, the Senate has vowed to get to the root of Wednesday's incident in its chamber and ensure that those responsible are brought to justice.